We're quite lucky here at Perth Zoo that we do have a very successful breeding program. Um, we have three different generations of Emperor Tamarins and the newest um, here that we have today is only a couple of months of age. Uh, he was born to our breeding female Emi and her husband Javier. Uh, in this particular instance we only have the one which is a bit unusual. The two uh, breeding seasons before that we did have the two different sets of twins as well. So they're one of um, the species of monkeys that share the rearing of the youngsters and most of the time here at Perth Zoo we find that the dad tends to carry the youngsters instead of mum. They go to mum for food and they go to dad for cuddles. As they get a little bit older they certainly are very very playful, very intelligent and inquisitive as you saw just before with their environment. So he's starting to move around a lot more now and interact with everyone and um, that just gets uh, more and more and more until he's an adult and um, he explores his environment to basically learn about it. One of the things I love most about the Emperor Tamarin is actually their history in how they got their name. As you guys can see, all of the monkeys that we have here in this exhibit, they all have this great, big, fantastic looking moustache. They were named after an emperor, uh, an emperor named uh, Wilhelm II, and uh, they were named because of that great big moustache that he also shared. Their population is pretty stable out in there out there in the wild but unfortunately just like every species uh, habitat destruction and conflict with people is causing their numbers to dwindle but as I mentioned before our breeding population that we have here at Perth Zoo will hopefully uh, assist in reintroduction programs if they do ever drop to a, an all-time low.